हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो आप लोग माई सेल्फ चेतन गर्ग आई मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अवर आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक सीरीज इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एंड एट्थ ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन वन क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम नंबर थ्योरी एंड द अदर वन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम इन इक्वालिटीज बोथ ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इजी एंड एनी स्टूडेंट हु इज करंटली इन एट्थ और नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड कैन इजिली डू इन डू ऑल ऑल बोथ द क्वेश्चन राइट so before starting the session uh, let me just give you one information that currently here at vidantu we are uh, running pre rmo rmo and inmo batches those who have not appeared for pre rmo or uh, unfortunately have not cleared pre rmo exam yet they should simply visit our website olympia.vidantu.com here we have provided each and every information regarding uh, these batches right and those who have already cleared pre rmo or rmo exam last year uh, they should mail me their name class contact number address along with the proof on this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com those who have cleared pre rmo we, we will simply enroll you to rmo batches and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you to inmo batches uh, all these batches are completely free of cost you do not need to pay even a single rupee to enroll in these batches right so let's start our session this is the question number 7th of year 1994 and if you have not tried this question please uh, give a genuine time on this question this question is really easy all you need to know is what is this factorial uh, meaning right and uh, you will be able to solve this question right uh, this is a mix up question of number theory and permutation and combination i would say right so all right uh, let's start the solution of this question the question says that we need to find all the uh, number uh, uh, we need to find the all rational numbers of the form m by n Such that m by n uh, lies between zero and one, okay, and m and n are relatively prime to each other, right? That is, numerator and denominator do not have any common factor, and uh, product of m into n that should be twenty five factorial, right? Okay, so uh, you can say that we need to write twenty five factorials into two parts. We need to break twenty five factorial into two parts. Let's say m and n. Uh, such that their product will obviously be 25 factorial both of these numbers should be coprime they should not have any uh, common factor among uh, themselves apart from one right and m upon n the rational number that should be less than one also right all right so that is only possible if uh, m have different kind of prime numbers and n have different kind of prime numbers right okay uh, let's say if we do the prime factorization of 25 factorial so it will have some powers of 2 let's say uh, alpha 1 okay we do not require to find these value of alpha 1 although we can easily find this uh, what will be the power of 2 in 25 factorial but we do not require that right the next uh, prime number will be 3 it will have some power next prime number will be 5 it will have again some power 7 right then it will be how much 11 right next prime number is and uh, after that it will be how much 13 i guess ha na and 13 power will be 1 because 13 into 26 is not there in till 25 factorial so all the remaining prime numbers will have a power of 1 let's write that power uh, 17 right what else uh, 19 what else 23 i guess yes so these are the uh, total prime numbers Prime factorization of 25 factorial. Although we have not found alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha four. Uh, okay, alpha. Let's assume this to be alpha five. We have not found the powers of these, as we will not require them, right? So the total power, uh, total prime factors are three, three, six, and three, nine. Okay. So if we do the prime factorization of 25 factorial, we will encounter nine prime numbers, right? And uh, okay. so this 2 power alpha 1 right whatever be the value of uh, alpha 1 this whole thing will either go to towards numerator or it will go towards denominator it cannot happen that part of alpha 1 will go towards numerator and other part will go to denominator that is some power of 2 will go to numerator and the other remaining power of 2 will go to denominator that will not happen why because we need m and n to be relatively prime so all this thing should go go either to uh, numerator or it should uh, go to denominator right so uh, we can clearly see that there will be nine such packets ha na 
and each has two option either it will go towards numerator or it will go towards denominator so we will have 2 power 9 possibilities right i hope this is clear but yes uh, it will also be ordered pair that is if uh, let's say m comma n and uh, n comma m both will occur as two numbers right uh, in this 2 power 9 ways right but one more condition is that we need m by n to be less than 1 right so uh, every pair of m and n there will be a corresponding let's say m is uh, x and n is y so there will also be a corresponding pair y comma x that will obviously be there in the 2 power 9 ways right and only one of them either m will be greater than n or uh, uh, n will be greater than m right so only one of these will satisfy that in fact exactly one of these will satisfy that m by n is less than 1 so for every pair we will actually have one relevant pair which will satisfy this equation so total number of our ways will be simply 2 raised to power 9 by 2 that will be 2 raised to power 8 and that is 256 ways so there will be 256 such rational numbers which will satisfy all these three conditions right i hope aapko samajh mein aagaya hoga hai na so that's it uh, that is it for this question so final answer will be 256 ways right so now let's proceed to the next question question number eight this is a very very easy question this question is from inequalities and as you know most of the questions can be done by using am greater than or equal to gm inequality right so this question also can be done from am greater than or equal to gm inequality the biggest hint for applying this inequality is that the number should be positive and it was clearly mentioned in the question that abc are positive real numbers which satisfy this condition a plus b plus c equals to 1 right so we need to prove this thing 1 plus a into 1 plus b into 1 plus c that is greater than or equal to 8 times 1 minus a 1 minus b 1 minus a all right so if we consider uh, 1 plus a right uh, we can substitute the value of 1 from here so that will become in fact 2a plus b plus c right and uh, this can also be uh, written as a plus b plus a plus c right now if we apply am greater than or equal to gm inequality on these two numbers right we can apply because both these numbers will be positive so we can say that a plus b plus a plus c that was actually equal to 1 plus a and that is nothing but greater than or equal to twice of under root of a plus b b plus c similarly we can say that 1 plus b that will be nothing but b plus c plus b plus a and that will be greater than or equal to twice of under root of b plus c into b plus a and by the same logic we can say that 1 plus c will be equal to just substitute the value of 1 here that will be c plus a plus c plus b right and that will be nothing but greater than or equal to twice of under root of c plus a into c plus b right so if we multiply all these things uh, uh, in the left hand side uh, we will get 1 plus a 1 plus b into 1 plus c that will be greater than or equal to 8 times 2 into 2 into 2 8 times and you can see uh, every vector comes 2 times so under root will get cancelled out and what we are left with a plus b b plus c and c plus a and as you can see this 1 minus a is nothing but uh, using this 1 minus a is nothing but b plus c and this 1 minus b is nothing but that is c plus a and this 1 minus c is nothing but a plus b so we can say that this 1 plus a into 1 plus b into 1 plus c that will be greater than or equal to 8 times this right so that's it from uh, this question this was a very easy question that we have proved using am greater than or equal to gm inequality and in fact most of the inequalities question uh, that come to rmo can be easily proved by am greater than or equal to gm inequality right so that's it from today's session today we have uh, discussed question number 7th and 8th of year 1994 in the next uh, session we will be discussing uh, first few questions of year 1995 right and before ending the session uh, let me give you one information again that i have already shared at the start of the session also that uh, 
those who have already cleared pre rmo or rmo or even ntsc exam they can mail me their uh, these details their name class contact number and address on this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com we will simply enroll you to rmo and inmo batches right so see you in the next session uh, till then take a very good care of yourself bye bye thank you